how to use ClickUp. Hi, I'm Lucy Griffiths and I'm going to show you ClickUp, which is a platform that I really love. I am a bit disorganized. I admit that I am probably the most annoying person in the world when it comes to organizing my life. In fact, my funnel builder said to me, please, can you use Asana? And I don't really like Asana. So I started using ClickUp and I had to, you know, find my way of working, especially when you're a bit disorganized. And so this video is really aimed at people who are a little bit disorganized in their business, but want to add more a streamlined process, especially when they're trying to scale and build in other people into the business. So add in, a, you know, a tech VA, a VA, whoever it may be into your business. And in my business, I also work alongside my husband and my husband is really organized and he likes structure, whereas I'm a bit disorganized. And so I had to be the one that created the structure because they would fit into my structure, whereas I found it really difficult to be as organized in their sort of way of working. And the great thing about ClickUp is that it enables me to create a list, but it, it gives Gantt charts and other weird things that I would never dream of using that my husband gets really excited about. And so it means that it copes with different ways of working and different ways of thinking and um, the ways that you plan and organize your life. You can create a system that works for you and other members of your team, regardless of who they are and how their personality works. And that's why it's such a great platform. So I'm gonna show you, let's dive in and have a look. of Trello. It just really helps me be that much more organized and see things in that structure. But you can also create tasks and then subtasks. You can also create different dashboard views. So for example, here we are and you, you've got um, like this dashboard here 
or I'll move this one up a little bit so you can see. So you can view things in different ways. So like these are all my social media. So you know precisely what's going on and you get a big overview of what's happening and what's the key area. So my Go Live and Thrive membership is one of the areas that we're working on a lot. So as you can see, if we click here, you get my list. And within the list, you then get different areas of content. So you kind of have the dashboard overview, but you then create a space. So the space is kind of the big overarching thing. And within that, you can then create different tasks and different lists. So essentially, the list is further up the hierarchy. And then within that, you can create tasks. So this is my list, Go Live and Thrive membership. These are all the tasks. And then within that, you can create subtasks. So if you've got some, you know, one particular thing to work on, you've got subtasks within that. You can also put due dates on the subtasks and then also set priorities so that you know what is most important, what needs to be done first. You can also then view it in different ways. So um, if you want to then view it, as you can see here, I've got it as a list. You can also view it as a board. And so you know, here's my open things. So I've got a closed task in progress and open. So you can see which things have been completed and you can then get that overview of where you are with them. You can then also assign people different tasks, which can then really help you with just management or organizing what you need to do. There's also the calendar view. So you can see when things are due, different dates, you get a big overview of where the gaps are in the month of what you need to do. Now, as I said, I'm not particularly organized, but my husband is, so he really likes the Gantt view. And so it means that, you know, he, from a project management background, likes to sort of see that view. I don't really understand that view, but you kind of, you get the gist. You can sort of see an overview of when things are due at particular times. And so you know, you know how things are moving and you can make things bigger so you can see the whole picture if you want to and sort of scroll along to see oh this is happening here so you can understand and get that overview according to the, the date and um, you know that can be really helpful to see where the gaps are in a project or you know exactly who needs to do what when and whether that actually fits their schedule. Um, so those are the key things to know. So if we were just to, let's create um, a new task. So you would literally, you can create a folder or a list within this particular space. Um, and, and then from that, I'm gonna go back to view by list. I feel more comfortable in list, that's my, I can cope with the list. So um, if I create a new task, I literally click and you type it in. So I'll just write test. And then you can automatically add tags, assign somebody and put a due date to it. So if we just put test and then within the test, you can then have, so this is your task um, and then you can have subtasks. So, you know, um, so, you know, type this and you can assign that to somebody. So it means that you can um, have really easy communication about what's going on, what needs to be done in order to fulfill that task. You can also add attachments to it. So if you need to add like, um, you know, Word documents or, um, you know, I tend to use Google Docs just to, you know, ease communication, but, um, you know, you can also add any images you want to add or any other particular, you know, videos or things that need editing, you can add that all in here so that it's all in one place so that it doesn't get lost. It works really well with um, Dropbox as well. So we use Dropbox for our storage. So all of that can um, go in one place much more easily. And then you can share this task um, so that, you know, you can then, if you want to share it with particular people. So it means that it's just much more easy to manage. So I really like the task list and subtask functionality so that you, you know, you've got your overall project that you want to work on. Um, so like 
you know, this is kind of a launch. And so, and then within that, there's obviously, you know, there's a bigger, um, there's a bigger task. And then within that, there's subtasks. So it means that, um, you know, it makes it much more straightforward. And it means that you can manage different parts of the project. So you've kind of got the build of the membership and then the launch of the membership. And so there's, you know, a slightly different project within that, different people involved. And so you can manage it in different ways, which I find really helps just to keep everything on track. So the great thing about ClickUp is that there's a free version and then a paid for version. I use the paid for version now because I wanted to be able to manage the teams, but it's much more cost effective than say Asana or Trello. And so, you know, for actually my functionality as a team is growing, I didn't want to be paying a fortune for this kind of software when actually it was available at a much better price using ClickUp. Um, so I really like it. I you know, I, I don't use it all. So, you know, you might find other YouTube videos where you say, oh, you know, that's a better YouTube video, but it definitely works for my team. And I wanted to show you the way that we use it for our team. So if you were adding a space, you would literally create a new space. So let's just say this is so you can add color coding. So I'll do a pink, um, and just, you know, you can create, so you can also create different spaces. So you can decide who it's for, if it's private, if, so this is kind of my workspace. And then you can decide which way you want to um, present that. So I just use like the custom, I just use the normal, um, but you can use Kanban, um, which is much more like there's a review process to it if you want to, um, or like marketing, so you can see, you know, a way of things if they're running, like an idea or in progress or running. So you can really get that full overview. So let's just go with next, and then you can decide which ways you want to do it. So I have picked that I want to have like priority tags, multiple assignees, time tracking, um, but you could also. Um, you could add in this if you wanted to and time estimates and then you can decide what kind of views you want so automatically list and board come up I like the calendar so you just switch that on and my husband likes Gantt so we go with Gantt too um, but it just depends you know what is working for you it might be you love my mapping, so you want to add that in. So there's so many dif different views that you can add in of the ways that you want to present the content and the space. And that's what makes it really helpful, that you can see it in different ways. So let's say review space, and um, we're going to create space. So we've got this, content ideas, and then you literally just start with a task. So let's let's write the first task. So this is um, okay. So podcast ideas. You can then assign who that's for. So I'm going to assign myself, and you know then from within that, I can then create subtasks. So what I would do in this case is podcast ideas, and then I would put my ideas as subtasks so that they're all down. And so if I've got um, like, so, okay, so let's say that. Now let's just imagine that this task, I wanted to slightly, you know, tweak it. So you can move um, to a task or move to a subtask, and then you can also merge it archive it so it means that it's not fixed in that particular place so if I wanted then I realized oh that needs to be a task I can then convert it to a task um, so it might be that in time this particular podcast became a task and then it would have lots of steps within it of actually finalizing the product creating the podcast and um, and then from that you know doing the interview editing, recording, promotion. And so all of those become subtasks. So I love the fact that you can move it around really simply. Um, you can then also set priorities here and then also add dates to it, which you know really helps you to stay on track.
and you can then say whether it's open or you know what stage so at the moment it's just concept but you could then move that along so you understand where you are in that process which again helps you to keep it on track which really helps when you know it trying to take ideas out of your brain and onto the paper and I probably should say at that point maybe not paper onto digital <laughs> So, um, you know, that really works well. Um, this project here, which is kind of what I call middle of the funnel, which is basically doing more emails to the middle of the funnel. There's not many tasks in it, just two, but um, those are fairly intensive. So at the moment, it's writing the, writing the documents. So the next task would be that I have to um, make sure that... Um, Okay, and then it needs to be um, and then it would be um, and then added to add active campaign and so those are the steps that need to be done so then I can I can assign these to different people so, you know, I can assign this to um, my lovely VA and, you know, so you can just assign really easily different people in your team to give things um, different projects to each person. And that's how it works really simply. Thank you so much for watching. I share lots of tips and strategies to help you build and grow your online business. And if you want to know more about ClickUp, check on the link below so you can learn more. And of course, if you like this video, I would love you to subscribe. Please click on the link below to subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye, bye, bye.